I'm working with a good friend and associate, and we've got a new website going live here, which is going to target B2B. And basically what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be having corporations and organizations pay us to set up their profiles on uh, LinkedIn. It's going to be kind of an 80-20 deal where we'll focus about 80% of the time on LinkedIn and then, you know, about 20% of the time on other social media platforms. But basically we're targeting specifically companies that are bringing in, you know, fair minimum of 500 750k annually up to a billion dollars a year. So this is going to open up a lot of new doors of opportunity. Of course, I'm going to integrate that all with the estate stuff that we've got going on. But I've been doing a lot of thinking about how you and I can collaborate. And, you know, I, I'm still convinced that, that LinkedIn is the best platform for us to get your message out there to the world. So what I'm kind of thinking about, though, is how can we envelop this strategically in a way that, dude, you know how it is, man. People, they're just, they're not open-minded to anything. LinkedIn's a business, monetary, success-oriented type of platform. How can we wrap this up and package it, present it that way, in, in that, right, self-determination, financial independence, kind of things like that go in the forefront and then start wrapping the rest of the details around it in a way that it's edible for people. Does that make sense? That they can start digesting it before we just say, you know, this is what it is and this is the path that you got to start on. What are your thoughts? Well, for business people, in my opinion, after doing the podcast conferences that I went to, it has to be packaged up in a way that removes the fear. It has to be non-threatening. It has to be a new global shift, a new global paradigm. Exactly. For instance, you can go online and just type in self-determination definition into Google, like just doing a plain Google search. Because Google now has its own dictionary. As soon as you type in any word to define it, you don't have to go to Merriam-Webster's. You don't have to go to a dictionary online for free or any of that kind of stuff. You, typically, it's usually two. It's like your two basic definitions for almost anything you can type in. Sometimes it's only one. So the Google definition box itself won't be expansive like, say, a Merriam-Webster's website. But what's interesting about typing in self-determination is you get two definitions and the first one is your ability to take control of your political identity and determine your political status and the second definition is one's ability to control their own destiny which is what everybody knows that self-determination means because that's what we were all programmed with was the one definition whether it was in school or by say positive motivational speakers and PMA dealers and NLP dealers and, and all that. You know, you can be what you want to be. You can do what you want to do. It's the old Zig Ziglar message from decades back, right? Yep, yep. Well, here's a problem that I learned because I am a businessman that learned the law. Ignorance of the law excuses no man is probably one of the oldest Latin sayings that there is. It's a maxim on this planet. And so if you're not controlling your political decisions, like Plato said, if you're not involved in politics or political decisions of your society, then you end up being governed by your inferiors. So that's where politics is not politics and law is not law. Both of these are principles and maxims that govern a society based on standards and rules and values of the society itself. Everybody wants to take law and turn it into a four-letter word, but it's not a four-letter right. word. It's the values and standards and principles and maxims of a society and how that society rules itself and governs itself. Or if you read Law of Nations, just one section, Book 1, Section 38, it's not about a society governing itself because all of the societies on the planet today run in accordance with the Roman Empire where you have a head of state who's a dictator or Caesar, or whatever you want to call them. This goes back to ignorance, ignorance of the society, ignorance of your constitution, ignorance of contract law, 
ignorance of charters and compacts and ignorance of treaties, all of that kind of stuff that these representatives are signing for everybody, if you're ignorant of that, you'd have no clue what you're bound up in. Exactly. Now, the reverse side of that is self-determination is the highest principle on this planet. It is your ability to determine those political values that you want to determine. The paradigm that's coming now is this day of looking at a nation as your God, as your source. It's going to mano e mano. Those days are over with, and those that learn how to exercise self-determination and control their political status where they can do business globally with immunity. That's going to be the separating point when it comes to mono e mono, men now living on the planet. They've opened up a new door. That's what it was all that's what the Matrix movie was all about. 